those are things that we need to those are things that we need to 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 research about you know those are the things we need to research about whatever that we 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 we, we learn here a uh, we must go there and research you know it's very important guys it's very important you need to learn this thing so mr william i i still want to appreciate you mr william knows mr william uh, we used to we used to pray together with mr william it used to be very fun you remember mr william at the trading house in south africa <laughs> Yes, okay, yes, yes. Mm, I still remember one of my brother there. Uh, one of my friends called a uh, uh, Ponzo when he blew his account with Nasdaq. He just went and slept. For <laughs> yes. <win. laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but you must, you must also share with the group that uh, I, I, I also remember just maybe just to share with the, the rest of the team because I had the privilege of uh, coming through to to you for I think it was during COVID times. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we spent over six months. I think it was six months. We were coming over weekends, sleeping sometimes uh, for the whole week there. So I had the privilege of uh, literally uh, learning from you because I I came already lost with what the industry was offering. In fact, I wanted Aye, to bro. say that. Mm -hmm. a, a, a Panther, what I wanted to say, I said the first time I heard about an order blog is when I came to you. 90% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. of the time <clears throat> when people were discussing market, they were always discussing uh, the market structure only dealing or focusing only on supply and demand. But most of the price action, I saw you, I saw you doing it and including order blocks. You understand? So mm -hmm. that element mm -hmm. where I went through some of the analysis with you uh, on the platform and i saw you taking some of the live trades growing some of the accounts in front of me i then noticed that there is definitely quite a lot of knowledge that you carry you understand and and for me i've noticed how where i was coming from i paid for mentorships and i paid for a lot of lessons and at the end of the day i did not know what i was doing but only after mm -hmm. i met up with you my wife can can attest to that when i met up with you we started seeing quite a lot of development in terms of knowledge. You gave me a lot of books. Even now on the platform, mm -hmm. you are still sharing quite a lot of books. I take those books and I create my own uh, presentations out of them because I don't want to forget. I can, I can show you, I think I've got probably five journals that are full of information from mm -hmm. reading those books and the videos that you guys are posting. So, so mm -hmm. this thing, for instance, the way we can, the way we do it, my experience with you is that you are very learned. You are very skilled in this thing and nobody can be able to take that one away from you. If we are to get to the level of knowledge rather than rushing for the money, we will make the money later. Right now, yes, we can make 2,000, we can make 1,000. But if we accumulate knowledge now, it will be better. So the, 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 the simplest way of my closing remarks will be maybe you and uh, uh, David, you are able to sit down together and say, okay, let's make our class for the first two weeks to focus on mastering price action. And we focus mm. on price action. And until we get mm. it right, because your aim is to produce students that are very skilled mm. and that will not blow accounts in the market and come back and say, no, I wait, I wasted my time with Forex Panther while you have been giving mm. quite a lot of information. So if you say focus first two weeks, we focus on price action. Uh, in May, we are focusing on this and that and that. Based on your, your subject line, or according to your, 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 your course of development. Then we follow that course. I can tell you six months, you will have us growing small accounts because you know, Panther, I came to you with an account of 250. I think you remember the weekend where I had an account of 250 and then I made 5,000 mm -hmm. into the following mm -hmm. week. So right now, mm -hmm. some of the results that I share with you, even on the platform, I'm only sharing what I learned uh, from you. I grew small accounts mm -hmm. when I was with you. So I just mm. wanted, obviously, everybody to know that there is a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of knowledge. And if we are open-minded, we can learn a lot. We mustn't compare in the industry who's doing what. No, we must look at what we're giving us. I can tell you we'll go far. Mm. Mm. Buying That's signals won't, won't teach you anything in Forex. 
We don't want no, to buy, no, no, we no. want to buy knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Because that knowledge mm. will, will remain with us for the longest time. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Panther. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's very good, guys. You heard it from, from Mr. William. He's somebody that I traded with actually. Um in my we in my in my space, he used to come, used to drive, you know. Uh, we had what you call a trading house. There was a trading house um where we used to trade from, like he said. Uh like he said, it was during the COVID time. And we we, we we I think we went as far as six months trading for sure. I remember him actually one of the good good days when he came with um because we used to it used to be cold sometimes when he came with uh how do you call this mr william this is is it gas heater yeah gas heater i remember the time when mr william came with the gas heater we used to trade we used to push you know so guys that's very profound and we need to you heard what he said sometimes you know mr william is it's like you actually just entered my head. I was telling this other guy because there is something that I've been planning to do with David. So I just needed some people who have a, a, a bit of forex experience. So I was telling this guy, this guy to say, the problem that you have is that you are looking for the now money, the now money, which isn't a good thing. So some of us, we look in the future you know, future money, not, not, not now money. No, we don't, we don't want now money. We invest in the future. So what Mr. William was saying here, guys, is very, is very correct. You know, sometimes remember when the problem is when we talk about these things, people think we, we need to eat their money or anything. Like I stated in the channel today, some of you who saw what I posted, I said, we don't force anyone Ever since some of you joined our, our, our channel, I don't think you have ever seen at any point someone posting to say, hey, join our VIP session, join our, our mentorship program. We never do those things. It's up to you to, to go for it. We are not going to, to, to tell anyone to say, no, say this, we want you to join the mentorship. Uh, Tosini, we want to join the VIP. We are not going to, we will never see those things. We will never do them. It's up to you to do it. But the problem is, I'll be honest with you guys, when we talk about mentorship and everything, people have this thing of saying, no, they just want money. They, guys, we make money every day. You know, we can we can give it the certain things for free, but it's not everything that you're going to get for free. Just like what Mr. William was saying, the yeah. biggest issue now is that we rush to put money in our trading accounts when we actually don't even have the knowledge to trade, which is a very big problem. You know, there is, there is one guy, I think I spoke about this the other time. There is one stupid, one idiotic guy from, from is it Bosona or Namibia? You know, who came into my channel and was getting free signals, grew his account to about $27,000. And when I remember when he reached his account to one thousand dollars, he was like, "Ah, no, no, I'm very happy. I've never, you no, know, I, I didn't tell him to say withdraw that money, pay for mentorship. But I was just saying, no, I'm happy that you're making money. That's a very good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted, you know. And he kept on coming to me. His bossy now is at three thousand dollars. And then, to my surprise, that guy exited my channel. He was nowhere to be seen. So now by that time, he felt like now I know what it is to trade. After I think a, a, a two to three months, the same person came back to me. And can you imagine you're stupid enough to come in my face and tell me, hey, can you please borrow me $1,000? I'll pay you back. I was like, are you mad? Are you crazy? Are you, are, are, are you mumu? You are a mumu straight. Huh? So what? it was that kind of a thing. So sometimes people have money. People have money. I don't want to lie to you. Some people have money. You know, they have money. Like 
you find someone has $1,000, someone has $500, but they want to put that money in the Forex market without knowing anything. Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? I told you guys before, me personally, when I started trading, it was painful because the person who, who mentored me, the person who mentored me, he, 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 he charged me $1,000 to learn how to trade. And you can imagine it was way back, way back, 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 back. $1,000 was a lot of money for me. I had to trade an account that I, I, was, I was trading this small account. I was trading it. I took it from $300 up to $1,200. Then I withdrew $1,000 and I paid him. After I paid him that $1,000, we met in South Africa in a place called Boxberg. That's where we met. I gave him the money in cash. He has $1,000. He took the money from me. After taking the money from me, he went. I was calling him so that we can start. I was hoping he was going to put me in any group. I was calling him. He was not taking my calls. I was calling him. Sometimes I write him a message on WhatsApp. He will reply. Ah, no, don't worry. I'll put you. I'll put you in the in the group. Me, no, he never had a group. Ah, one week down the line, my brother. Two weeks down the line, I started threatening him. I was telling him to say, you know what? If you don't give me back my money, I'll take you to the police. If I started threatening him. When I'm threatening him, he's replying to me, saying, laugh out loud. You can imagine, guys, how that feels. Three weeks down the line, I was still pushing this guy. And then I gave up on my own. I gave up. I said, ah, this guy, let me just leave me. as eaten my money. It's okay. I felt so very bad. I felt so very bad. Then when the month ended, he then called me. He said, can we meet by McDonald's where we first met? I was like, this guy is mocking me up, you know, he's really fooling me. I said, okay, it's fine. Let me come there. And by then, I was not this for expand. I was broke. I didn't have money. It was difficult for me. You know, it's just that I had the passion, I had the love for trading. From, from where I used to stay to go to that McDonald's, it was like about 10 kilometers away. I had to walk. I reached there. And I looked at him. When I met, when I was, I had so much anger. I just told myself, to this, this guy, when we meet, we'll fight. It's either I take his phone or something. So when I met him, 